right, let's talk about product strategy. Now, strategy is one of the words that's going to make you the most money in your entire life. Okay. Having good strategy, uh, business strategy, economic strategy, product strategy, marketing strategy. Okay. Um, so when it comes down to, you know, digital marketing, um, and leveraging digital, you know, social and all that kind of stuff for your products, uh, I want you to think about what you do in terms of your core offer or offers and your back end offer or offers. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you know, when I see people getting into the space, um, it's very typical that they have one product. That's one of the biggest problems is they have one product. Um, people always want something new. Okay. They always want something new from you. They always want something hot. They always want something that's on the cutting edge. Nobody wants something um, that was from 10 years ago, okay, or from two years ago, or nobody wants to buy your book that used to be hot, okay, they want to buy something new, and so you have to find a way to make it into a new opportunity if it's something old, okay, so in terms of your actual strategy, there's two strategies um, that I see working really, really well, and we interchange them both, I want to show you how they're really reciprocal of each other, okay, there's the core, there's this strategy right here, which means you have a core product, okay? You have a core product offer, and then you have a bunch of supporting backend offers, okay? This is B, 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 okay? So when people first come in to buy your stuff, you're selling them a core offer, which core offer really means it's a high ticket item. This is generally a profit maximizer. It's gonna, it's gonna be your highest profit margin uh, and, your, and your highest profit like dollars, the volume of dollars is gonna be the highest here. Okay, so this is very typical. Um, the other one that still works really well, okay, is actually uh, your back end offers first, or really uh, a better way to say this, you could even say your low ticket, okay, low ticket offers. Um, I think in a lot of internet marketing, they say low ticket. Uh, technically, product speaking, Silicon Valley, they would call this a back end product, and then and then you have your core offer which comes after okay so what this would look like is just the reciprocal of the other one where you have front end offers okay or i'm sorry you have back end offers that are uh that the customer sees first which all leads the customer to your core offer okay so this right here becomes a way that you can sell you'll hear people say cross sell upsell cross sell that's what this is upsell and cross sell this right here is really upsell okay mostly all upsell they buy this and you want to upsell you, you know like typically it's if they don't buy this then you want to try to sell them something else then try to sell them something else and try to sell them something else and then they'll come through and buy your core offer okay so the strategy here is a little bit different where like if they don't buy your book then try to sell them a guide if they don't do that then try to get them on a free call if they don't do you know what i mean like like you got to keep bouncing them around um into different offers and then um and this one here the whole idea is how do you sell them this first big high ticket item you know, how do you qualify these people and sell them this high ticket item? And then once they get in, then you might have like affiliate offers and things that you can sell them that where you just make a little bit more money. So here, you know, your 80% of your revenue is coming from your core. 20% is coming from your back end offers. And here, 20% is coming from your back end. 80% is coming from your core or your low ticket, which whatever you want to call that. So um, the other way to think about this, okay, in layman's terms, Okay, you have you need to you need to strategize. What is my profit maximizer product? What is that? What is that offer? And what is my easy in? The easy way for somebody to get into my network, to get into my list. Um, this could be a Facebook group. Um, this could be a chat bot. Chat bot sequence. This could be an email list. Okay. This could be an uh, uh, this could be like a tripwire product, okay. Um, now I know we just talked on the last one, like you know, be careful getting into all this stuff. Um, no matter what, whether you do tripwires or not, um, you need to be able to get people on your list, okay. And so I'm going to talk to you a little about lists and list diversification, what that means. It doesn't just mean email list, but 
anyway, so product strategy, this is the simplest way to think about it. Now you could literally like a product strategy course, I could literally make a course on product strategy, but you don't need all that. You just need to, to think about what's my core offer, my back end, and which one comes first. And then how do I bounce the customer along if it's this way? Or what, how do I pre-frame? See this one right here, this, this one right here is all about how do you pre-frame them so that when they come through and they get on this call or whatever, or on this webinar or whatever this is to buy your thousand or, or whatever, how, how are they pre-framed? Uh, you know, how do you pre-frame them so that when they come through, they're ready to buy? And so one of the best ways to do this is with the webinar uh, or retargeting, that kind of thing. So anyway, testimonials, that, that kind of stuff. So anyway, so that is your product strategy. I want you to write in your, um, in the Facebook group, are you going to do core offer to back end? Are you going to do back end to core offer? What are you doing? Okay. So, so write that out. You can call back end low ticket as well. You can call it high ticket, low ticket. You can call it front end and back end, whatever you want to call it. Guys, it's not about the nomenclature. This is 100% about understanding the strategies.